The Fox and the Stork, by Jean de La Fontaine Old Father Fox, who was known to be mean, invited Dame Stork into dinner. There was nothing but soup that could scarcely be seen colon soup never was served any thinner. And the worst of it was, as I'm bound to relate, Father Fox dished it up on a flat china plate. Dame Stork, as you know, has a very long beak, not a crumb or drop could she gather. Had she pecked at the plate every day in the week. But as for the fox sly old father, with his tongue lapping soup at a scandalous rate, he licked up the last bit and polished the plate. Pretty soon Mistress Stork spread a feast of her own, Father Fox was invited to share it. He came, and he saw, and he gave a great groan, the stork had known how to prepare it. She had meant to get even, and now was her turn, Father Fox was invited to eat from an urn. The urn's mouth was small, and it had a long neck, the food in it smelled most delightful. Dame Stork, with her beak in, proceeded to peck, but the fox found that fasting is frightful. Home he sneaked. On his way there he felt his ears burn when he thought of the stork in her tall, tricky urn. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.